Good morning and welcome to this morning's version of our children's art classes presented by the Nave Museum. Today you're going to be working on this piece called Festival by the artist who is currently on exhibit here at the Nave. Her name is Jay Howard. Um, I want to remind you that all of the materials and the classes themselves are provided to you free of charge through some very generous grants that the Nave recently received from the Victoria Chamber Ambassadors and from the Court of Six Flags Victoria group. Um, we enjoy receiving uh, grant money and we enjoy being able to pass that on to the students, art students of Victoria. We also want you to encourage you to come into the Nave Museum and see the current exhibit by Jay Howard. It's on display now through March 7th. Um, we're open Thursdays and Fridays from noon to five and Saturdays and Sundays from 12 to four. So come see us. Um, we also will be hosting a children's exhibit at the end of this, at the last two weeks of this show. So we would encourage you to come see the children's art as well. Hey guys, Claire Santiana, Education Coordinator at the Nave Museum. I am going to be focusing today on a piece called Festival by Jay Howard. I'm really excited about this because it's very colorful. We're going to be working in oil pastels, which should be in your packet. And at the end, we are going to look at Vibrant Life, and I will just go over a few key features and maybe show you how to do a water droplet. Um, but first, we're going to do Festival. So Festival is a, it's a square piece. So really, you could do Portrait, which is this way, or Landscape, and not go wrong either way. I'm going to make mine portrait, um, so I'm just going to leave it up and down like this. And the first thing I notice is there's some legs here. So it looks, it's a happy feeling you get when you look at this. And I do recommend you come see it in person because it will be here until this piece will be here until March 7th along with all of other, the other paintings by Jay Howard. Um, but it's really impressive in person too. But anyways, very bright, very vibrant, colorful, uh, and I think that might be why it's Moon Festival because it's just a happy painting and it almost makes you think they're playing or jumping for joy um, in the water. So I'm going to draw the legs first that I see because those are some of the big shapes and then I'm going to focus on my larger shapes. There's a triangle here. This is a clear division in the painting where you can see that it changes to horizontal lines and up here it's more of a lot of dots so when we're drawing that we're going to do more dots and there's a few lines going this way and that all adds interest to the piece it's all kind of these legs are pointing this way these are pointing this way this goes back up your eye is moving around the piece so it's a very nice piece of artwork here um, and I'm going to translate this square piece onto my portrait. If, it, if you want it to stay square, you could always draw a line and make your drawing square so that it looks more like Jay Howard's. Um, so here is the first leg. I don't know if you can see this pencil mark very well. I'm just doing basic shape of the leg that I see. And then coming up, there's a big triangle there, and there's a shoe. Here's where everything kind of changes to the horizontal lines. We've got some fun lines coming up like this. Here's some more legs over here. And it doesn't have to be, I know Jay Howard's style is super realistic. Ours doesn't have to be that realistic. We're just going to enjoy observing the piece by trying to recreate it. And we're just going to have fun playing around with these colors today. So don't worry if it doesn't look, you know, hyper-realistically like legs. That's okay. 
Um, so now that we have the basic shapes on there, I'm already going to start shading. So this person looks like they're wearing shorts to me. So I'm just going to get some skin tone colors out. I've got my peach. I've got my brown. Um, I'm going to actually use a little blue and some black in here. And the shoes are blue. So the shoes are kind of a cerulean blue. And you can change the color of the shoes. You can make your person wearing leggings like this person or jeans. You can make yours look however you want it to look. And I'm going to go ahead and color this. I know in the painting just the highlighted parts are really light. There's a lot of shadow on the leg. It's not... This person looks more tan than that. But I'm going to layer the tan, the darker colors on there. And there's a knee here. So I just added some brown. Coming up. I'm going to blend it. And with oil pastels, it's good to just do like a layering effect. So you can do more than one layer of color. So you can start off like that where you can kind of see the white of the paper through it and then just keep adding your layers, adding your tones. Not a little blue actually. For the shadow. Now on top of this, there's a lot of splashes. And I think when I go back with oil pastel, I can color it in there. We're going to find out real soon how that works out. Maybe I'll try right now. Because we might need to reserve our little white spaces. Let's see. Okay, so it does show up. You can go on top and put the splashes in with your white pasta. And those are the little raindrop splashes. They're just dots. But some of them are yellow. There's a lot of yellow reflecting here. You know how water reflects things sometimes, colors from the sky, and colors that are around. So I'm just coloring the shades that I see there on that leg, the way I interpret it. And I'm going to go ahead and put my little white dots up here. And then I'm going to color those shorts that I'm, I think those are shorts that the person's wearing. And then it just gets kind of dark in this part because it's an interpretation. Putting the dots and putting the yellow. And I see blue, just real colorful. Just have fun with it. And over here too, there's a lot of blue. It's kind of blackish to here, and then it changes to blue. And then there's white dots, a couple of yellow dots on it. And then blue. So I'm doing my first layer of blue and then I'm going to do some white dots and I'm going to color some more blue. And there's quite a few white dots. So if you can do some tiny ones that'll be good. I'm going to do bigger looking ones. I'm going to add some black in there. Just 
There we go. And then I think the leg gets pretty dark too, so I'm gonna have a little black on my leg. And then I'm gonna do some yellow. See a lot of yellow and the yellow almost has some orange in it I'm gonna try putting some peach see what that looks like it's got some pops of the brown like I said just follow the colors and the shapes that you see don't look at it as legs and water just look at it as a series of dots and lines that you're trying to follow my shoe I'm just doing the lines and stuff that I see there there's a shoelace and then there's still dots all right here lots of white dots where the water's splashy and then Right here on this line, you can do some pastels going kind of in a vertical motion. To create that little fuzzy effect that's right there. I'm gonna color all this yellow. And then I'm gonna make, let's see. I see yellow, I see green at the top too. So I'm gonna add my little greens on there. And just have fun, just put colors that you like. You can change the colors. Let's just add some layers of colors. Lots of blue, fun bright colors, some more yellow, see lots of blue and yellow here. turning green when I mix the blue and yellow and I don't see as much green there so maybe be careful if you don't want green not to make them mix too much if you like it green that's good and I still see little hints of this brown in there so I'm just layering my colors to give it interest I see some brown in this one. Okay, and then I'm going to go back with this white and do some of these. Ooh, I broke it. If you press too hard, it might break. But I'm not worried about it because now I have two white pieces. But I'm going to do the motion of the this white line that I see kind of coming up. I'm gonna add more white spots from the water splashing. I'm just gonna add those in like that. Lots of little white dots. She's got lots of white dots here. 
and just follow the lines you see. leggings that I see up here they look kind of blackish or maybe they're jeans I'm not sure so much action happening this is an action-packed piece try to leave some of those droplets some spaces for that And I see green here, maybe some green up here. Again, just add the colors you see. layers on and then maybe I'll throw some gray in there. It's just a really colorful work of art so you can add whatever colors you want. It'll still look pretty cool. I'm gonna even add some orange in there. my dots on these legs. I'm just adding a bunch of squigglies and dots on there. It's kind of turning gray because it's mixing with the black. So I might want to go back and like add some black around it. Yeah, that turned pretty gray. I said you can change the color if you want. I think mine are just gray leggings now <laughs> instead of the blue or black, whatever those were. Okay, I'm going to move on to the shoes. I think they're white shoes and they're like reflecting what all is happening around. So, just add these laces on. I'm gonna use the black to kind of, she almost outlines it, like to make them pop. So I'm just kind of making my little bunny ears with my black. 
oil pastel. They've got some yellow and things reflecting. Like I said, blend a little bit. And we can use some blue and add some little blue dots. And do kind of the same thing I did on that side and just add some white. Go back and add some darker blue. So now I can do the bottom and add in these squiggly lines. And the bottom is stark contrast to the top, contrast to the top because it does have horizontal looking lines. And so you're gonna pay attention again to the shape, and it does reflect. So there's the triangle, and then on the bottom it looks more like I don't know what shape that is, but it's almost like a petal, but it's going side to side. So on the bottom, just keep it side to side. And my yellow is dirty from doing the stuff at the top, but it's kind of making it look neat. So I don't mind. And I'm gonna try to mirror the shape from the top, but I'm gonna move side to side to help keep that reflection looking. Look on the bottom. And then there's side to side, there's the leg tone. And over here, there's some brown reflected a little bit. There's blue reflected. And just move side to side on that. Let me change it to this blue. Over here, I see a little gray in there. Add some gray. It'll help it look like water, though, if you move from side to side and change the bottom to look different from the top. And I'm just doing side to side little motion of the colors that I see. Mine's a little more blue than what Jay Howard's looks like, I feel like, on the bottom, but that's okay. It is helping me to notice more things from her drawing, the, like, the longer that I try to draw it. 
So that's what I want you to look for too, is just noticing all the different things from this painting. It's so interesting. Then hopefully you can come see it in person and you can compare the printed version versus the real life version. I was going over all of it side to side to make it hopefully look like a reflection a little bit with my white. And there you have it. Our copy of Festival by Jay Howard. So now I have Vibrant Life in front of me, which is the one we advertised, but this one was, Festival was just too colorful and too much fun to pass up. So that's why we did that one. But I'm just gonna do maybe a droplet on Vibrant Life. So if you're doing a water droplet, you're gonna start with the water droplet itself. And it depends on which part of this painting you want to focus on. Um, I kind of like this droplet, so I'm going to draw that one. So I started with the little water droplet, then, and if you see her work in person, it is hyper realistic, like, it's very realistic, very amazing to see in person, um, the skill required to draw these things, and she did make her own pastels, which I thought was a really neat fact when I learned that, so. Um, I mean, copies just never do the original artwork justice. So, but here we go. I'm adding some orange because this is a really orangey looking red. And I just went in a circle and I put a little more value on the outside than the inside. And then I'm going to get my white, which is probably messy from the other thing. And I'm going to do a circular motion. For the edge of that water droplet. Like for the reflection part. And you do need it to get pretty bright white right here on that one part and a little bit right there too if you can and then around it for that particular water drop I would color it kind of light like this and then go over it with the white again around the drop so kind of like that I'm looking right here and again it's just the layering effect like we did in the other one and you're gonna keep adding darker values where you see darker values and try to make it blend from dark to light and then I might even add a little green around the edge to make it pop That's one little bubble on this drawing. So if you want to do this whole thing, we'd love to see that too. Please feel free to do that. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you would like to come in person to one of the Nave Museum's art classes, there are going to be four left. So you do have to call the museum to register and they will be the next four Saturdays. So I would love to meet you in person if you can do that. And if you want to submit either Festival or Vibrant Life, your drawing of it, um, by February 25th, um, well, I think they're, sub they're taking it February 25th through the 28th. So mm -hmm. if you submit it on one of those days, then you will be entered into a raffle for this art kit. So that would be really cool to win. So I really hope you guys can submit your artwork because one, I'd love to see it, and two, I want you to win the free art kit and I want you to have a chance to win it. Um, and then the prize will be awarded on March 6th. So the drawing for that art kit will be on March 6th. 
And again, you have to submit your artwork February 25th through the 28th. And then we're gonna have a live show um, in person here at the Nave showing all of the kids' artwork.